Hello and welcome to tutorial number two in the Community Builder Query Plugin uh, series. If you remember in tutorial number one, I had showed you how to set up a unique Community Builder field with uh, use of the query validation that the CB Query Plugin gives you on each uh, field type in Community Builder. So if you remember, we had basically created a text field and called it uh, CB alias, and we allowed people to actually fill in values that were not filled in by other users. So today we'll take this a step further, and we will uh, actually uh, configure such a, a field, a text field, where we will allow that, uh, that text field to take values only from uh, a membership ID uh, table in our database. So basically the idea is to allow people to either register uh, and actually have to fill in their membership ID, which is checked against a table of existing membership IDs. So we'll allow a person to input in that field only a value that's already in the table and that's not used by somebody else. So let's start off first of all with our database. And this is a database right now of our uh, CB tutorial site. And let's just create, go back to the end here. This is PHP my admin and create a new uh, table called members, so that's Greek, sorry, members, member codes. Okay, member codes, and it's just, a, it's just one column, no need for anything else. And do a go here, and we select the column name, let's just call it code, and keep it var car, let's make it a length of 10, collation, let's make it UTF 8, uh, just find it here. There we go, UTF-8 General CI. You should use this so you can put international characters. And let's just, to be even safer, let's make this a primary key, which means that it has to be unique. And let's save that. So we have our, our new table here, membership codes, mem codes, which is empty. There's nothing here. Now, I can either go ahead and start inserting one at a time, one value at a time, or I can use the, the import facility to actually import uh, a text delimited file. So I've created something here called codes.csv. And you see 100, 11, whatever. It doesn't have to be three digits. I can just put anything I want. For example, mem123, mem234, and so on. Okay. So let's just save this and update it. And <coughs> Let's go now and actually select that file. It's codes CSV. Choose it and click go. And we've imported everything. We can even check it out now. Browse. We see 100 all the way to the new two values I added at the end. So we have a table here called mem codes and a column called codes code. Okay. And now let's go back to Community Builder and go to my field field management area and I already have a field called CB underscore member access code. Uh, let's just edit this to see what, what I've done here. Okay, it's a, a text field and I have it on the contact info tab. I can put it anywhere I want. It, I make it required. It's read only and it's searchable. Okay. So let's see what the integration tab looks like. The CB query field is enabled. And I'm actually selecting here, select star from member codes. That's the table I created here. Where code equals the value. So I'm trying to find, uh, I'm trying to see here if the value this person input is actually in the member codes. And if it is, I also check and it does not exist in the already comprofiler CB member access code 
uh, column. So basically what this query is doing in English, it's it'll return uh, a valid uh, row if the value input by the user is A, in the member codes table, B, not used by somebody else in this field. Okay, and uh, basically settings are the mode, uh, modes internal, meaning it's looking at my internal Joomla database, okay? And it validates when it's successful. So if this returns a row, that means there's no problem. And if it doesn't <coughs> return a row, it'll give an error message saying this member code has already been used, has, already, has been already used. Okay, so let's just save that. Now, uh, one thing I've done in order to test this, I've actually uh, actually have my super admin user, and I have this member access code for this user set to 100. So this means nobody else could use 100. So let's go to the sign up form and just test this out. Okay. So scroll back down here to the member access code. Let's start out with 100, which I know is used by my super admin. And I tab this and I get an error message saying this member code does not exist or has been already used. And let's try something else now, 102, which is okay. Let's try something that's not in the database. I get the same message. So this is a simple way, simple and clean method to actually set up a field that could only take values uh, that are in a specific database table and the value can only be used once by our members. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video in this series. Bye-bye.